Hello and welcome. Thank you for watching the Black Pearl channel. So today we are going to discuss a potential pending divorce between the divine masculine and his karmic wife. So I'm getting two different storylines and thank you guys so much for subscribing and liking and commenting. My tribe is expanding so I'm picking up two different storylines. One storyline is the storyline that I've been talking about which is where the masculine ghosted the divine feminine and basically married, married the karmic because of a baby that is not biologically the masculine's. And there's also another storyline that I'm picking up now and that storyline is basically that this masculine was already married when the divine feminine actually met the masculine and did not say anything. Either way, I'm picking up a channel message of a married masculine that is now going through a divorce or about to go through a divorce. Spirit is saying that this marriage was not ordained by God. This marriage was basically built under false pretenses, under lust, deception, and in a lot of cases, spell work. So Spirit, please tell us what is the energy right now for this divorce what's the energy right now okay yeah so it looks like <laughs> yeah the masculine wants to make a change so we have the main female and then we have the thoughts so the masculine is thinking about the divine feminine and making the divine feminine his official person because he's already officially married to someone else what else, spirit? We have great fortune. So there's probably going to be some money um, that's going to come up in the reading. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's going to be some money that's coming up in the, in the divorce. So we have main male and great fortune. A lot of these masculines, thank you, spirit. I'm hearing a lot of these masculines have stayed married to this karmic for a long time because they feel like they're going to lose money if they get divorced. Yeah, we see courtship. So basically, a lot of these masculines have the feminine on their mind. They're concerned about divorcing this karmic because they're going to lose money and they want to come towards the divine feminine. What else, spirit? Tell us more about this. Ooh, divorce. Okay. <sighs> yeah. This is, okay, let me, let me put the storyline together, y'all. <laughs> y'all, you know it's going to be off the chain. What? Oh, my goodness. And this is going to be, okay, I'm a, I think I'm going to do a separate reading on this because that's a whole nother storyline. Okay. So, Spirit is saying, these are two cards that came out. The karmic tempts the masculine with sex. She comes on strong and stays on long. Keeps him trapped with lust and sex. Okay, so like I said, when I open up the reading, that's basically what this marriage is based on, lust and sex. Then we have sex addiction and lust. Does he ever take his pan out of his pants? Self-pleasure. So yeah, this masculine has a sex addiction, and I talked about this in some of my previous readings, and honestly, both of these people probably have sex addictions, and that's why they're stuck in this karmic cycle, okay? Um, hmm. Spirit is saying the reason why, um, this is the reason why this masculine is not emotionally, uh, uh, he's not emotionally available to you, Divine Femmes. We have emotionally unavailable. I know you need encouragement, but I can't think of anything positive to say. Not supportive. So yeah, this masculine is all in his head. With this card here, with the thoughts, there's a woman here. And he's just sitting there visualizing, but he's not saying anything right now. Okay. The, the masculine is remorseful. He says, I'm so sorry. He wants forgiveness. I don't know if y'all going to get... Actually, you know what? Forgive, definitely forgive the masculine, okay? Definitely forgive him, but that doesn't mean you have to take him back. Um, Spirit is saying that Divine Femme, some of you guys may have noticed that your Divine Masculine was kind of sexually aggressive and forceful. So this is because he's been in this lusty energy with this karmic, trapped in this karmic cycle of lust. And so when he comes to you, you may find that he's very sexually aggressive because he does have a sex addiction. Very heavy on that wand energy, very low on the emo being emotionally available, okay? Um, also, we have the criminal card popping up. So some of these um, masculines may be facing criminal charges. Um, this card says, I've been to prison. Did you know that? So some of these masculines have legal issues or have had legal issues in the past. 
some of them um, they're gonna have legal issues coming up because of all the drama with the karmic um, in my last reading I saw that there's a masculine that's gonna put his hands on the karmic once he finds out he has an incurable STD go check it out if you haven't seen it and yeah so basically we see that the this is your energy divine films it says angry and disappointed you deserve better treatment so yeah you guys do not need to sit around and wait around for this married masculine to come around but he's going through a divorce spirit tell us more about the divorce oh my goodness this is a whole lot this is a whole lot going on okay yeah so this this marriage that this masculine was in it kept him in a place of complacency he definitely could do better but he settled for this karmic a lot of them have a lot of financial ties some of them have children some of them have children that are biologically theirs and then there's new ones that aren't um and then we see perfection so this marriage to this karmic was basically a facade where the masculine was trying to um you know put on a front and make it look like he has it all together also too this is confirming what i just said this woman is holding berries so i feel like there's i'm just getting a lot about finances also too we see service so there's an ailing older person that's in this uh, storyline. It could be a grandparent or a parent. And um, I feel like, oh, okay, this is, this is a, spe a very specific channel message. This is not for everybody, okay? There's somebody that has a parent or a grandparent that is ailing. And the is, I feel like it could be on the masculine side. And this masculine is nervous to divorce this karmic because once this person crosses over there's going to be a large lump sum of money and this masculine does not want this karmic to get it in a divorce proceeding so he's he's hanging on for the wrong reasons yeah spirit is saying this person needs to go through a period of self-discovery so that they can experience true true joy and the true joy is with um your their divine counterpart which is the divine feminine okay <laughs> yeah oh man all right so energy that i'm picking up for for this divorce so we have guilt so this masculine feels very guilty and that's part of the reason why he stayed in this marriage like i said a lot of these people have family ties some of them have older children that are biologically theirs um some of them have just new children that aren't theirs and they were trapped and then we see denial so also too this masculine is somebody that is in denial and um i feel like a lot of these masculines they um they're kind of like family oriented right so they never wanted to break up their family or get a divorce or stuff like that but like i said if these marriages are not ordained by god and they're not unions that are of the highest light then they need to be disintegrated Okay, if you're in a marriage that was brought on by, because somebody did spell work on you or because you are addicted to sex and lust, that's not anything that's ordained by God. So you don't need to be in denial. You don't need to feel guilty. You need to let go so you can have freedom and have growth. Okay, so that's what's coming through. Freedom and growth. Once this masculine lets this fake marriage go, he's going to be experiencing a lot of growth. All right, Spirit, what else? Let me, this is like a very intuitive deck. Let me see, what else do we need to know? Hmm. <sighs> okay. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, this is a lot going on, y'all. I'm seeing that, dang, this, <laughs> some secrets is coming out. This karmic, cheated some of these karmics cheated on their masculine right early from the beginning of this marriage this karmic was cheating it says another drunken bachelorette party so it looks like this this karmic from the beginning she might have had some type of bachelorette party and got drunk and cheated on the masculine and i see that somebody needs to recover from illness so we keep pulling stds that keeps coming out heavily i'm seeing some type of illness and also too like i said it could be an older family member that's about to cross over so it's just a lot going on tell me more spirit this is a lot of cards <sighs> yeah lasting through the years 
So some of these um, masculines have been married to the karmic for a while. And some of these masculines just recently got married when they thought that they had a child with the karmic. But some, for some of y'all, this masculine has been married for a while. Yeah, and it's almost like it's just something that's been going on. So they're just scared to leave it. Spirit is saying this situation is withered and shriveled. Like it's just played out, dried out. Somebody lost their job too. So there's finances involved. It says somebody, somebody recently got fired. Yeah, and, and yeah, this it's, is a whole lot going on, y'all. And then I see avoiding commitment. So this masculine was deceiving you and avoiding commitment because he has all of this stuff going on with this karmic. A lot of y'all didn't know that this masculine was married until way, way, you know, down the line. Some For some of y'all, this masculine still is still lying about being married. He still hasn't admitted it. But this is what's going on. Yeah, he avoided commitment because... He has a lot of um, ties with his karmic. And now I feel like if this masculine lost his job or even if the karmic lost her job, they're staying together because of finances. Hmm. Yeah. And then it's like this, this karmic, it's like the masculine is tired, but the karmic, she's still, she's still not giving up. It's like she doesn't want to let go. What else do we need to know about this divorce spirit? What else do we need to know? Oh, man. Okay, so we have a history of family addiction. So um, it says somebody's been abused by their family. So this masculine may have had a history of family addiction. And one of the addictions is a sex addiction. And one of my past readings, I picked up that this masculine has like some drug issues too. And so all of these things is part of the reason why him and this karmic are connected. They're connecting on lust, sex, drug addiction. It's a hot mess, y'all. Yeah, toxic connection causing depression. This masculine needs to release this because it's toxic and it's causing him depression. I also got a channel message. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I got a channel message um, that some of these masculines have a diagnosed dep like uh, depressive disorder, like they've been diagnosed with major depression. Yeah, Spirit is saying this connection is toxic, it's causing depression, it's the wrong path, do not proceed. So some of these masculines, like I said, for a few of you guys, this masculine was secretly married when he met you. For most of us, this masculine had a choice. Of two different people and he chose the karmic because of lust because of sex and he got trapped with a karmic fake baby he took the wrong path yeah this this is the same this is the same storyline y'all that came out um, in my last reading when I was talking about the incurable STD okay it says shocking truth revealed disturbing facts the shocking truth is there is a woman carrying STDs I don't let me, I gotta, I need this, I need y'all to see this, okay? We're going to zoom all the way up in. There's a woman carrying STDs. This is the truth that was revealed. It says someone has a weapon, threat of deadly violence, okay? So the shocking truth is that this woman is carrying STDs. The masculine is the one that has a weapon, and now he's facing jail time and legal issues, Okay? So this, this is what's going on. This masculine, to sum it up, this masculine basically um, is in a toxic marriage that is, it's, it has come together because of lust, sex, spell work, addictions, and now it's falling apart because um, it's been revealed that this karmic has an STD and the masculine is going to get violent. The police are probably going to be called and he might be facing jail time. All right. Any, any last messages about the divorce proceedings? Oop, that's too many. Any last messages, spirit? Oop, okay. Yeah. <laughs> look. Look. Third party black magic. Let me just say this. Okay, for people that play around with black magic, when you try to change someone else's destiny and somebody else's fate, nothing good is going to come of it, okay? When you try to change somebody's destiny with black magic, the karma that hits you is not going to be anything that I would wish on my worst enemy, okay? This third party, 
the karmic was doing the black magic. That's how she got into this marriage. And now it's going to come crumbling down because it's not ordained by God. And yeah, this masculine was living a double life. So he was living a double life, married to a karmic. And he was married to her because she did black magic. Yeah, look, another confirmation, getting physical. So this is going to be the catalyst of them getting divorced. Him finding out that she has an STD. Him putting hands on her, and I'm seeing with a deadly weapon, which means a knife or a gun, is getting physical, okay? Drama, drama king, drama queen, okay? it's going. That's how it's going to end, with a physical altercation because somebody finding out that they got an STD. This is the same recurring messages. This is confirmation. So, again, Divine Femmes, mind your business. Eat your popcorn from the distance because this is a situation that's coming crumbling down. And you don't want to be a part of this drama. All right, guys. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm so grateful for my soul tribe expanding. Thank you guys so much for leaving your comments. Because for the collective, I think it's very um, affirming to know that, you know, you guys aren't alone. We're not alone. Everybody has cra a crazy storyline, but, you know, it's, it's, it's awesome to share, you know, your experience with other people. So if you guys want a personal, click the link in the description box. And I'm still doing my special for this entire week up until the, uh, December 4th. So if you guys want a personal, just email me if you want the special price for the rest of this week. I'll talk to you later. Bye.